Hi, my name's Amanda and welcome to a monthly favourites video. It feels like forever since I last did one of these. I didn't do one in October because of the craziness of my quilt along series. I just didn't find the time to sit down and film one. So I thought I would sort of combine some of my October loves with some of my November loves and do a nice big combination one for you today. So there is a nice lovely combination of things here to my left that I will now chat about and tell you why I love them so much over the last couple of months. So the first thing up is a wonderful BBC costume type drama that I just absolutely fell in love with. Firstly, I rented it and as I was watching it, I just knew that I had to buy it and add it to my BBC costume drama collection. And the series that I'm talking about is this one, it's called The Paradise and I just absolutely loved watching every single episode. It's a really, really good show to watch. So essentially the series is based on a shop girl called Denise who comes and works in one of the first department stores that was set up in the UK. It's a fictional story based off a book that was set in France but for the series they adapted it to an English type setting and it pretty much just goes through the rise of her career. It has a lovely love story in it. It's all costume drama and all that sort of stuff. I just really loved how it was set in a retail setting because I worked in retail for a very long time I sort of get the gist of all the behind the scenes stuff um, which they show and it has like dressmaking in it it talks about fabrics it talks about sewing and it was just so many little different bits in the series that I sort of connected with and loved and I just I don't know it's just it's just a really great series to watch and uh, yeah, so I bought it and I haven't rewatched it yet, but I possibly will very, very soon because it's really, really good. I think that's all I want to say about it. Mm. So the next things that I've been loving over the last couple of months are some very cool paper piecing patterns by an Australian pattern designer named Christy from Quiet Play. And I just have a couple of the patterns that I bought and printed out to share with you that I've also been sharing with you on Instagram. So the first one that I'm going to show you is actually a free download from her store. There is a link to her store down in the description box below. And this one is called the Star Plus block. I did show you this picture on Instagram of my final block and I just found it such an easy pattern to put together and to make and the effect is just so brilliant. I did only get time to make one block amidst all of my quilt along prep and craziness so it's sort of just sitting on my design wall at the moment and I'm not sure whether I will keep going with that one or do something different. I'm not sure yet. The next pattern that I purchased was this gorgeous little one. It is called a Christmas Robin and it is so sweet. It's a little robin in a wreath with a little bow. And as soon as I saw this pattern somewhere on Instagram, I think I knew that I had to make it for an Aussie Christmas swap that I'm doing through Instagram. And this is what I'm making for my swap partner. Lucky you if you do watch my videos. I don't know. Here is a picture of the almost finished little wall hanging that I've made to send off to my swap partner. I'm really, really happy with the way that it's worked out. I used a beautiful cotton and steel range called Tinsel, as well as a few different spotty fabrics from my collection. And I just think it all works out so well and it's such a beautiful, gorgeous little mini and I really do hope my partner will like it. So if you're looking for a lovely little Christmas pattern to make someone or just to make for yourself, I think this is a really great one to check out. And the last pattern that I bought was this awesome sewing machine one. I've seen this one on Instagram everywhere for ages and I always wanted to know where to get it from and as I was scrolling through her store I saw it and I was like oh my gosh I found it I'm so so getting it so essentially the pattern is like a paper pieced sewing machine that just looks freaking fantastic and I don't know when I'm gonna make it because I really just don't have time to have another added project to everything that's going on at the moment but I will pop it on my cork board and save it for a rainy day sometime and as I just mentioned there is a link down below to Christie's store where you can find all of these patterns and easily pay for them and download them for yourself to make and just be really happy with them as you make them the next one is a random food favourite. Now these things we kind of get in Australia but we don't have a huge range 
of them. And the other day I went into a really cool candy store with my brother that stocks all of like the big American candies and overseas candies that we just don't get here in Australia. And I picked up a awesome box of Pop-Tarts. This one is Frosted Chocolate Fudge. In Australia we don't have these type of things in our normal supermarkets. I mean we do have a small range of Pop-Tarts but then it's nothing as extravagant and beautiful as this. I don't think. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But with me being a total diehard for chocolate, I knew I had to get this and I have tried some and they taste delicious. And they taste just like chocolate cake and I would pretty much class chocolate cake as being my kryptonite. Let's just say that. But I am going to say that this is indeed a sometimes food and these will last a while because there's no way that you can eat one of these every single day. They're so sweet and and lovely but yeah you gotta limit yourself but these are definitely definitely a favorite for this month they're a lovely lovely treat and yeah they're just lovely I just love them so now let's move on to some of my beauty favorites from the last couple of months and the first thing that I've got to share with you is actually something that I got for my birthday from one of my friends I'm not too sure whether they actually know just how much I love this brand like Almost every part of my skincare regime is from this brand. And the brand that I'm talking about is Sukin. Oh, you can't really see it. It's so far away. But this is from a range called Sukin Australian Natural Skincare. And of course, because it's natural, it doesn't have all of the yucky parabens and chemicals and all that sort of stuff in it. But this one is a sensitive cleansing gel. And I have just absolutely been loving using it over the last couple of weeks, couple of months whenever. It's got green tea and chamomile in it with cucumber and avocado oil but when I use it it reminds me so much of freshly baked biscuits and the smell reminds me so much of my dad because my dad used to be a baker with Arnott's Biscuits, you know the brand that does Tim Tams and all that sort of stuff, he used to actually make them and whenever he came home from work his hands would smell like freshly baked biscuits and that's what this smells like and I just absolutely love it and it's also really nice on the skin, it foams up and goes all bubbly on your face and it just feels really nice to use and yeah I've just really been loving using it. The next favourite is another facial type product that you put on your face and it's also another all natural product this one I've actually never used before and it is by Australian Pure Beauty it is a sensitive exfoliating face scrub and of course it's all natural it doesn't have any of those little bead things that apparently are ruining the ocean I don't know but yes this one is in the scent flavor uh, I don't know. Uh, Lily Pilly and Wattle Seed. I mean, you can't get any more Australian than that, seriously. But it's a beautiful, beautiful face scrub, and my skin on my face has never felt so soft and smooth in my life. It's incredible. And the other great thing about this one is it was just by chance that I picked it up when I was shopping for a face scrub. I was looking for something cheap. I was in a hurry and this was there and it said it was natural and Australian and it was a scrub and so I just picked it up. And the rest is history. I used it in the shower and I absolutely loved it and I knew it was a new favourite. So I just had to tell you all about it, which is the point of these videos. I don't know where I'm going with this today. <laughs> and the last of my beauty favourites is this hand cream. Can't really see it because it's all twisted up and ridiculous. It's from The Body Shop. It's their hemp hand protector. And I absolutely love this stuff. Not just using it on my hands, but also using it on my feet. I find that because this cream is for really dry skin, it's really good for my feet. Because in summer, because your feet are exposed, my feet get really dry and horrible and you don't really need to know about that. But I use this and it just seems to just make everything better and so much smooth and less dry. And it just sort of got to a point where I was running out of the little one so I went out the other day and got the big huge mega one so I think once you sort of upgrade from the small one to the big one you know that it's a good thing um, and yeah I just I'm a huge huge lover of this product because it just does the job and it just makes everything so much better and lovelier and not as gross not as gross and the last favourite thing that I've been loving over the last couple of months is my quilt along series that I've been recently doing on my channel. It quite literally has taken over my life. It's 
pretty much all I've been living and breathing over the last, what is it, seven weeks that we've been doing it. I think it's seven weeks. I don't know. It's just sort of penetrated everything in my life. It's ridiculous. But in saying that, I've absolutely loved it. I love the fabrics that I've chosen. I love the colors that I've chosen. I love the blocks that I've chosen. And I've just loved how everything's come together. And I just love how all of you are getting involved and are participating in making your blocks and are learning and growing in your skills. I mean, that really is such a big favorite and has, yeah, it's just really made the last couple of weeks a good one. Even though all throughout it, I've had dentist appointments and teeth pulled and pain and sickness and it's yeah it's a lovely thing to just sort of escape in and yeah just have fun with and be creative with so it's been a huge huge favorite this month and last month so there are all of the things that I've been loving over October and November. There were more, but I sort of had to cut it down so this video didn't become 20 minutes or, you know, a half day video or something. I don't know. But yeah, they're just the real highlights that I've sort of come away with. And before I go, I just want to say a big, huge thank you to everyone for being so patient in waiting for me to get up the next video in my Quilt Along series. Like I mentioned, I've been sick and I've had wisdom teeth pulled and it was just a really crap week last week, to be honest. So I'm definitely on the mend and I will be getting back into everything over the next week. So hopefully over the next couple of days, I'll have that tutorial out for you and we can have our quilt tops finished. Yes excited and of course if you don't know what I'm talking about with my quilt along there is a link on the screen to the playlist if you'd like to check it out and start making a beautiful quilt for yourself so as always friends thank you all so much for watching and hope to see you another time very very soon bye it is so so adorable and so here is my version that I made I don't know whether it's gonna fit on the screen but we'll try there it is oh look how pretty it is oh my gosh I'm so in love with this.